X. Mild salsa. Grated carrots. Really, they're supposed to be grated, but I've got julienne carrots, so that'll work. Hamburger meat. And eggs. The I think I said eggs already. The eggs are actually going to hold it together, and I'm not going to put breadcrumbs in there. So let's mix it up. First, do we put the meat in the bowl? Then I dropped some carrots in on top. I did not measure. I just grabbed out a handful. Um, so let's see. From the bag, that would probably be maybe a cup. Possibly just three quarters, but probably a cup. Two eggs. And then I'm going to put paste bacani sauce on the inside and over the top. So I'll probably use about half the jar inside. We'll see. I just, I never measure. I just kind of do it to consistency. So hold on and I'll show you. Oops. When the, the jar started coming out, it was coming out really slow and I kind of shook it hard. And so, as you can see, I used about half the jar. And this is a, how many ounce jar? Let me see. A 24 ounce jar. And meat, I used two and a quarter pounds. Two eggs, a cup of carrots. And there will be salt and pepper to taste. So I sprinkled salt over this, pepper, some oregano, and some garlic powder. And I think I'm going to add some onion powder as well and then mix it up with my hands. Uh. My hands are clean. So here we go. Ugh. I would recommend gloves if you have them, just because of the texture of everything. Okay, at this point, I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to have to stop the camera on the phone so I can mix with both hands, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here's what everything looks like when I mixed it together. Now what I'm going to do is um, shape it into a loaf shape and I'm going to put it in this 9.5 by 11 um, baking pan that I sprayed with coconut spray, but you can use Pam or whatever type of spray you like. And I'm preheating the oven to 400 degrees. I do have quick bake, which is like a convection oven, so I'm going to use that feature. If you don't, regular is fine. Just cook it longer. I cut up some potatoes and put some carrots around it in the baking pan. And I'm going to pour pecani sauce over the top and bake it for about an hour and then check it. Ooh, that's going to be so yummy. I've had this before. So what I'm going to do to start with is cover it with aluminum foil for that first hour and then I will take the aluminum foil off and bake it the rest of the time and I'll let you know how long it took. Before I wrap it in aluminum foil I went back and salt and peppered and put some garlic powder on the potatoes and carrots. I almost forgot to do that. Looks delicious. That was about, an, well, it was about an hour and 15 minutes or 20 minutes. 